Joyner, seven homers, 32 RBIs, batting average 375. The Angels' first baseman is socking the ball like he did in 1986 and 1987. How I'm playing right now is very similar to my first two years, but um, I think that I'm just as interested as everybody else to see if Wally World's going to come back this year. Wally World, an amusement park from a Chevy Chase film that became Wally's nickname. But Joyner got better reviews than the movie. Well struck toward right. This is way back. Well hit. See you later. Joyner's rookie year, 22 homers, 100 runs batted in. The following season, 117 RBIs and 34 homers. Wally had lots to smile about. With 1988 began a three-season slide. Things got out of whack and off track. Wally's batting average and defense remained solid, but his home run and RBI totals took a nosedive. Injuries contributed. Wally was on the disabled list for much of 1990. This season, Wally's back. The fracture in Joyner's right kneecap is healed, and he's already enjoyed a career-high 16-game hitting streak. But the cynics in the media have been quick to point out that Joyner's off to a fast start because by season's end, he can become a free agent. I kind of resent those type of statements from the media because, number one, I don't think any ball player can turn, or, turn it on and turn it off whenever he wants to. And I, if I was so concerned about uh, my free agency next year, then uh, I, I think that uh, I would have done something about it last year as far as not make it so obvious that, hey, this is my free agent year and so now i got to turn it on. Wally's turning on the ball all right, hitting homers and driving in runs. He's back to the form that made him one of the American League's premier first basemen. Wally Joyner making a strong comeback. <laughs>